What up, bitches? What up, hoes? I've got 600 subscribers. And to celebrate, I'm gonna review 300. Yeah. So there are two versions of 300. There's this, which is the original Blu-ray release, and then there's the Digibook. Now the Digibook, I don't think has the PCM audio. It might, uh, but uh, it also has maybe one or two extra special features, and it comes in that stupid book. So if you don't like the Digibook, this is just as good, and you could probably find it for a little cheaper. Otherwise, pick up the Digibook. The transfer is identical. So. When I first heard about 300, I thought, wow, this, I don't know about this, this looks kind of stupid. Uh, Zack Snyder had really only done, like, one other movie, and that was the Dawn of the Dead remake. And while I liked the Dawn of the Dead remake, I wasn't blown away by it. But I think stuff there was like, whoa, this is the real, this is the murder of the greatest filmmaker of all time! Um, and I really didn't know Matt, that much about 300. It started its life out as a graphic novel from uh, artist Frank Miller who, uh, in the 80s, resurrected Batman. And then he went on to write uh, two really crappy sequels to Robocop. A lot of people don't realize that, but he did. I kind of like Robocop 3, though. I'm... The cheese stands alone. The cheese stands alone. Anyways, 300 is the story of this uh, Persian army dude who's this, like, big, giant fucking lesbo looking dude and he's got this really low voice where it talks like this um and um anyways he's like trying to take over the world and he's like comes to like jack up the spartans and the spartans like uh no don't think so fuck off uh this is sparta you know so fuck off bitches which i think would have been a better than this is sparta boom and kicks a guy in the well like fuck off bitches anyways um so uh, then they're like, all right, I'm going to kill you. And then he, he, the, then he pays off these like three old wise guys that have to declare war before Spartan can go to war. And so the king, which is this dude on the front played by Gerald Butler, who's Scottish. Um, and so he's like, so he pays, he pays these dudes off and they're like, no, you can't go to war. So he's like, all right, fine. I'm just going to take 299 bodyguards and we're going to go for a walk. What up, bitches? What are you? Loophole. This is, this is the loophole dance. Anyways, so uh, they really can't do anything, and they go out and uh, they meet up with these other dudes from some other fucking place, and then they all go and they fight these Persians, and then this, like, hunchback dude comes, and he's like, hey, I want to be a Spartan, too, and they're like, no, get out of here, and then he goes over to, like, the Persian dude, and the Persian dude's like, I will get you late, and the dude's like, uh, yeah, go path right over there, where's the pussy? And, um... Which, seriously, who the fuck wouldn't? I mean, seriously, I wouldn't even have to have a hunchback. I'd be like, yeah, there's, there, this guy's got, like, really pussy, a lot of pussy over there. I'm, go path, right? I'm, I'm out. Anyways, probably not, but whatever. <laughs> uh, that's why I'm not a Spartan. I would have been killed as a baby. Um, but anyways, uh, so then the, like, hunchback dude, like, sells him out, and then the Persians kind of overtake him, which pisses off the Spartans, and, uh, they filter out the little rat in their in in their senate, and he gets killed. Uh, played by uh, the guy from the fucking Wire, dude. Who doesn't? I mean, Dominic West. He's a dude from the Wire. If you've seen the Wire, uh, who looks absolutely nothing like he does in the Wire. Like I was like, what up? What's that? Anyways, so um, he plays the kind of like the bad guy in this, who tries to fuck Leonidas's wife, and then Leonidas stabs her, and throws his Persian gold, and he's like, look, he's a traitor, and they're like, oh, dude, that, that fucking sucks. All right, fine. And so they send the army out, but it's too late. Leonidas gets his ass kicked, and then the other guys are like, all right, fuck that. You can't kill our king. And then they beat the shit out of the Persian army, and the credits roll. So it's, it's something like that. So that's 300. It's a kick-ass action movie. A lot of people are like, you know what? Zack Snyder is like all substance. You know, like, all style and no substance. But, you know what? It's an action movie. And I've never seen an action movie that was, like, chock-a-blocked. Full of, like, fucking pathos and, you know, a character-driven story. And you're like, I literally can't put these characters. And why is shit blowing up and getting in the way of all these characters? No, it's a fucking action movie. You want to see people get their heads knocked off and, and shit blowing up and all kinds of other stuff. And it delivers in that department. Um, the thing is, this is a really, really super stylized version, because Zack Snyder got on his little computadora, which I love that in Spanish, because in Spanish, the word computa has bitch in the middle, 
computadora, which sometimes I'm like, hey, bitch, when I'm talking to my computer. Because in Spanish it is. In Spanish it is. Anyway, so if your computer was made in Mexico, it's a real bitch. Um, <laughs> anyway, so it's like he got on his little computer and he used a little graphics to make it exact, like really kind of like resemble the graphic novel. And he gave it this real comic bush booky style where it's like super saturated and there's all this film noise or well, digital grain and shit all over the place. Uh, and it's real contrasty and stuff. So nothing looks stellar, but the Blu-ray really, really looks fantastic um, in replicating uh, that version of the film. Um, there was on the HD DVD, and I believe on the Digibook, uh, a way that you could watch the blue screen version of it, because like this movie was shot entirely in front of a blue screen, and it's like complete night and day. Um, the way that this looks without all the, the digital crap put all over it. Um, I like the digital crap a little bit better, so um, it's a good looking Blu-ray. I think it's like a four and a half out of five. Uh, it's got two killer audio tracks, Adobe True HD and a PCM uncompressed audio for all you audio fanatics out there. Uh, it's got enough special features, I think, to satisfy, and if you want more, get the Digibook set. It's a little bit more expensive, but you can probably find this version for cheap, because I did. Overall, 300, totally recommend it. Cause it's awesome. No. That's it. Peace.